Hey, I'm Grant, and this is a simple tutorial on how to add a voiceover to Lightworks. So Lightworks actually does have a built-in function you can actually hook up a mic to. I, for this tutorial, am not gonna be recommending it just because there are simpler versions of that same function you can get elsewhere. I'm gonna recommend Audacity. So unless you're doing something like a movie commentary voiceover where you might actually wanna go back to specific sections and very easily continue the recording and record straight onto the edit, it's not as useful as I would think it would be. And if you do need it, you probably are advanced enough that you can use it. So I'm actually gonna be recommending a program called Audacity. It's free, it's what I use to edit my audio. Very good, and it's pretty simple and straightforward. You can use anything that can record audio. This is not a tutorial on how to record audio, just how to actually insert it. So what we have here is just this very simple edit I made in the other tutorials. All it does is it's got some images and it scrolls my name left to right. Really simple, and I wanna add a voiceover to it. So I go ahead and pop up Audacity right now, and I have my microphone set up, so I'm just gonna hit record. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is the voiceover. Stop. Export that. Excuse me while I actually navigate my folders. So it should spit that out pretty quickly. And we have our audio file. So assuming you got it from somewhere else, it doesn't really matter. You should end up with some audio file of some file type. It should be able to take basically any type you give it, but if for some reason you end up with some weird format, you may need to actually export it in some different format or convert it using some other software before importing into Lightworks. If you can't get it to import, that's probably the case. So I would like to just import this by dragging my voiceover into Lightworks. It should be successful. If so, it will show up either under recent, if it's something you added today, or under clips, where we see right here. So we can go ahead and just go ahead and drag that over into our audio tracks. I'm going to play that for you. You can just hear my wonderful voice. Now, if this is enabled, you'll notice that it does have one issue, is that it's only going to be coming out of, I believe, the left ear. And that's because these are stereo joint pairs. One actually is going to represent the left ear, and one's going to represent the right ear, unless you mess with the audio mixer settings. So that's something we don't want. So there's a very easy fix for that. I'm just going to come in here, and I'm actually going to unjoin or ungroup my audio pairs. Then I'm just going to drag another one right in. So now I have artificially made a stereo recording because it's gonna play the same track in the left, same track in the right. Again, there's other ways you can get around this, but I find that to be the easiest because then you can actually very see, you can see them line up if you need to adjust them individually. Make them stereo pairs again. Now I can toggle them as such. So if we go ahead and play it, we can see our text scrolling. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is a voiceover. Very simple. You can edit this as you see fit. It's just like a video file. So say if I wanted to get rid of my one, two, three, I can mark it and I'm just going to pull it out. It's the same as editing it. I can drag it around. I can actually even lengthen it with the joins if I wanted to. So say I didn't want to get rid of that. I can go ahead and drag this back and now we have one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One thing I'd also like, like to recommend if you are doing a voiceover, particularly for something that you need to be sure it syncs up with it. So like I know when I make these, other than in this one, because I need Audacity, is I actually need my voice to sync up with my lips. And that's not as easy, as, it's not as easy as you would think in Lightworks. So you will need something to sync off of, and this is just kind of a best practice. So in the pre, just in previous versions of these projects, I would just do like a three, two, one clap, and then you can easily look for the waveform, and when you clap, sync those up, and then it'll match like you're hoping. Otherwise, I also now use a clapboard. Basically, you just write what it is you're doing, you clap it, and it's very, again, easy to see the exact frame it needs to be synced on. So recommend stuff like that if you have, say, voiceovers for any kind of very simple footage that you need it to be matching. Like I personally record my audio separately from these images, so I need it to match, but they don't have that just innate relationship. Or if you just want to be doubly sure that it's, if it gets out of sync and you need to sync it later on, you can do some kind of sync action like that. 
but that should cover everything you need for a very simple voiceover, assuming you already have the audio file. Hopefully this tutorial helped you. My contact info is on screen for more help or other tutorial suggestions. A like or a subscribe is a great way to help make more of these tutorials happen, and I hope to see you around the channel.